Hi, I'm Rosie and I do cosplay complexities and I did last night a uh, Peggy Carter makeup tutorial which is a lot like this which you can find on my Tumblr and then I decided that I'd try and do my hair tutorial in a video just to see how it works and if it was a better format because there's a lot of little tricky bits on how to do your hair and I didn't want to do it in photos so let me know what you think and we'll see how it goes Hi, okay, so to start with, you part your hair off to the side. I just do this with my fingers. Um, you can do it with a comb or a hairbrush um, or whatever you like. But And then pulling the top sections back, we're going to curl the bottom section of your hair. And because my hair is quite, the curls fall out of it really easily, I always do a little bit of a spray on each layer. Uh, not too much, just enough to hold it that by the time I finish curling my hair, my curls won't have fallen out. Now you can pin your curls up so that they stay really, really um, ringlety until you finish your hair. But um, Peggy's hair is not actually particularly like ringlety, it's more just wavy, so I th I like just leaving them out. Once you've done the bottom layer, you just separate out the next layer of hair, just leave that up and then deal with that last. And then onto the top layer. Okay, so once you get to this stage, give it one more spray. You may end up gassing yourself at some point, but you know. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to start with the side that has the least hair on it. So once you've combed your hair over to one side, then you've got your big side and you've got your little side. And you want to take your little side and you want to comb your hair back right behind your ear, pulling it nice and tight for that nice smooth side. And then you want to grab the hair and twist it once in. So it creates a little bump. And then you grab one of these combs. And with these, you put it in upside down. Slide it along your combed bit. And squeeze it back into the bump. Like so. Now you can do this as tight or as loose as you want. I like doing it nice and tight so it keeps a nice smooth edge and pushing it in nice and tight. If you find that you need to recurl some of the bits just here, then that's totally up to you. Like I might do this little bit here. 
Now with this, mine, mine's very, very curly, but that's because I know that my hair drops quite quickly. This is just how I like to do it. And of course, I'd be completely open to seeing your suggestions. I often, if I think it's too puffy, I will comb it down with my fingers. Um, okay, now with the front section, you need to take... So if you go down and you find your ear, the front of your ear, you want to take most of the hair from before that, the top section of it, and you want to kind of get that out of the way. So I'll pin mine up here. Look nice and beautiful. Get that out of the way. Maybe get two pins or uh, one of those big hairdresser clips would be good. I don't know where all mine went. And then, whatever else is still in front of your ear, you do the same thing. You drag it back, give it a spin, and get your comb. This one's broken, so we'll see how it holds. And push it back in. I really like these clips because they, they hold your hair in really nicely. And it means you don't have to have a thousand bobby pins in your hair all the time. And then you lose them or they fall out and none of that's really fun. Okay, so for the last bit. So you've pulled all your hair back on both sides. There and there. My broken clip isn't holding very well. And then what you want to do is you want to get this front bit. And you kind of want to pull all the curls in into one or as close to one as you can get and what you're going to do is you're going to twist it and then you're going to you're going to get two fingers and you're going to roll the curl back up around it all the way back up to the top of your head Now I like to flip my curl, instead of having it up against my head like that, I like to flip it back so it's just on top of my head just there. And then all you've got to do is once you think it's neat enough, all you have to do is get some bobby pins, slide them in the middle of the victory roll and slide them back out to the edge. That's just got one bobby pin in it right now, and it still holds. So this is what you get. You get your nice big swirl up in the top, which I like to pin back against my head, you don't have to. Um, you get your nice curls, but with the combed back sides. I really recommend these clips, these comb clips, but all of it is personal preference, and I hope this was helpful.